Hey guys, how's it going? So you're wondering, why am I looking at a desk? What the fuck are all these parts? And why have you, haven't you made an update in a while? So, unfortunately, uh, I've been doing lots of researching, trying to figure out how to get my, uh, you know, get my transmission to work. Turns out you cannot use a K24A2 transmission with the hybrid note cut shifter at all. You must use a stock TSX shifter box, which is going to be either requiring you to sacrifice your center console or cut your chassis to use a uh, exhaust tunnel bracket. I didn't want to do that. I already paid for my uh, hybrid racing shifter. So, on to the next step. Uh, I ended up picking up a 79,000 mile K24... K24 Z7 transmission out of a 2013 ILX. Uh, if you know Hondas, you know the K24 Z7 is also located in the uh, 2012 to 2015 Civic Si. What's the difference between the two? Uh, it's the same gear ratios. All the gearing is the same. The only difference between the, between the ILX and the Civic Si is the Civic Si has an, a factory LSD. But how are we going to make the K20 uh, hybrid Z3 no cut shifter, which is meant for the K20 Z3 transmission, work. And that is why, why we have uh, this right here. So here we have the bracket for a K20 Z3 transmission, the O bracket. Now the problem is that you cannot use the stock bracket location. Uh, my buddy Osric, uh, who actually I bought this from, he did a great video because he had the, had the transmission out with a shifter and he shows you that the distance from where this is, where the cables connect in, actually they're connecting like this, where they connect here and then go to the shifter, it's too far. So you can only get into half of the gears. So three gears out of six, you can actually get into. And he does a very good video showing it off. So why am I doing this? I wanted to do a little hardware, a little hardware um, breakdown, because he does go over installing it. I wanted to do my own twist of installing it. So here's all you have. So you're going to need your adapter for a K20Z transmission. Now this will work for the Z3 and Z7. Uh, they are the same case. It doesn't matter. Only the internals are different. So an adapter for both the K24Zs. You're going to need a, a K24Z3 bracket and a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. 13 millimeter wrench. Uh, don't forget a ratchet. No, can't forget a ratchet. What, that's my favorite. And uh, it's also throwing an extension in there, right? It's one of these are kind of deep. So what do you get in the box? So you, you don't get that. You don't get on that. You don't get tools. So all you get is your adapter bracket. At the time of me recording this, it is uh, $135 with shipping included. Uh, they're made to order, custom made to order. And uh, it works great. So, uh, yeah, let's get to putting it together because my battery is at 15%. Oh, I got charges, baby. So, as you can see, we have multiple holes. Now, if you look at this, you can look and try to find the holes that match. So, we have these three here and these three here. And you can also use the cutout for that little plate. So it has room. Now, you're probably wondering, what are the washers for? So each of the compartments in this bag are separated. So we have our nuts and washers. These, these are the adapter to bracket bolts. And these are the uh, adapter to transmission housing. Put that away now. Now the reason why you have the washers, let's see if I can get this on camera really well is one of, actually I'll just show you on this. If you look on this, that's an offset, and the rest of it is flat. So, like in Audric's video, I'm gonna show you that. When you put everything together and it's perfectly level, we 
have a gap. A little gap. So we're going to use these washers to fix it. Now, as we can tell, the shortest ones get the shortest bolts. And we're going to put a washer on, throw another washer on, boom. That will make up our slack. So then we will take our BFL adapter and try not to forget which orientation to put it into and we will find our holes that match up. And there's our two little short bolts. Take a nut, throw it on here. And yes, I know, putting a 13 millimeter bolt on a Honda, <gasps> it's blasphemy. Then we'll take our final longer bolt. Let's see, it just slips right on through. There we go. Little nose peeking out. Boom, there we go. So we'll take our 13 millimeter socket. 13. And we'll just snug them up. Nice and snug. I love my torque specs, but there's really no torque specs of these. These are grade 10.9 bolts, so they are very, very strong bolts. Just snug them tight. Get it nice and tight. Because this isn't really torque critical. You're not going to destroy your engine because you over tightened it. And if you over tighten it, what? You just damage the bolt and go to home people get a new one. So there we go. Now it's on there nice and tight. So now we have these three. And if we look, it is, ooh, get that back in front. See, see how that washer takes up that open space? Boom, get it nice and floating. Now, unfortunately I do not have my, actually I do have my transmission. I don't feel like going out there. Here's our extra super long bolt. By deduction, we can tell it goes in this little standoff that's longer than this one. And that'll tell us that the second long bolt goes there. And then our short little baby goes right there. And then we throw her onto the transmission. So let's go do that right now. Uh, yeah, so I guess I am going out there. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so here we are in the engine bay. I know it's a little cramped. Actually, I'm going to want to take all of these connectors back off. Lock out solenoid off. What am I forgetting? Ooh, can't forget our uh, reverse light sensor. I'll just get that up and out of the way. All right, so we have. Here we go. So, this. Let's get this sensor up out of the way. How's our view? Perfect. So as you can see, we have our bolts. We have holes here, here, and here. Which, well enough, line up with our bolts. So, actually recording this actually is giving me light as well because I did not bring a flashlight home. So I'm just gonna start these in by hand. And I'll get them all lined up. Da -da -da. millimeter ratchet. Run them a little bit more down by hand. Now these are 13 millimeter bolts. They really don't have to be really tight. I know I love my torque wrench. I love my torque wrench. I don't have it. Third and final bolt here in the back.
Oh, oh perfect. And that is secure on there. Of course, we got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Actually, I might have that backwards. I don't remember. And last but not least, that reverse clunk. <laughs> and luckily, since I used a K20Z3 slave cylinder, that bolts right in place. And now let's get all our get back down in position. What? And try to remember what is what. That goes right there. And you, you are locking our reverse light right there. You gotta find a way to dress this up. You our reverse lockout solenoid. You click right in, and then we have okay, that. Gee, this one can be dressed around. You know what? I'm not going to do this on video. I'm just going to play with this during the daytime. But there we go. Get you out of this little thing. Ooh. So there we go. We have our K20 Z3 cable bracket with our adapter bolted onto our P3A3 transmission from a K24Z. And of course, it bolts perfectly up to a K24A2. K24Zs, ooh, we're zoomed in. K24Zs are all the same. A K24W is not the same. The starter actually is located on the back, so uh, it won't bolt up. But a K24Z to a K24A engine bolts right up. So there we go. And uh, if you are going to get a, if you've bought the EGK4 for the TSX transmission, um, you will have to get the bracket from the EGK2, which is for the uh, Civic SI transmission. Um, you can maybe talk to Hasport about buying a hybrid kit because uh, the K24Z, Z, K24Z transmissions utilize the same rear bracket as the TSX transmission. The only difference is you have the K24Z you know, bracket here. So th this is the only difference. Uh, so you'll have to speak with Hasport. Uh, this top mount's the same. It's just this fun little single one. But she bolts up, perfect. There, there's our slave cylinder, nice and new and shiny. To match our nice and new. This is brand new from the dealer. Brand new from the dealer. It was like 40 bucks but I cannot find a Civic SI part out anywhere near me that is parting that one out or even has shift cables. So I have to figure out my shift cable scenario because I don't want to pay like, up the ass. It's like $200 from the dealer and most people selling them privately want 150 So why would I pay 150 for shift cables when I could pay $50 more and get them brand new at the dealership with no unknown history to them? So there's that. But there we go. We've added on our uh, shift cable bracket to the transmission. She's looking all pretty. So now I just need shift cables. Uh, figure out a charging harness setup because the battery is more likely going to be there. Uh, let's only figure out how that's going to work. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to get back inside. It's dark out. If you can't tell. So, uh, Deuces, folks.